Every year in early October, we have a pair of butcher birds that nest in a huge leopard tree in front of our house. And it's always enjoyable watching them rear up their youngs in this huge leopard tree. And the young often come onto our paling fence when they take flight. This year they were raising three chicks, but the elder chick was a bit too quick to come out of the nest and couldn't fly. So he was just hopping around in our front yard. So I put it in our large bottle brush tree and the parents were looking after it. Later in the afternoon, I heard the parents making commotion in our carport and I opened the front door and there was the second chick just sitting beside our front door. And it was quite content as its parents were feeding it. Later in the afternoon, I went outside because I could hear a lot of squawking coming from the bottle brush tree. And I looked and there were three young butcher birds there. So the three of them were now resting and sheltering in our large bottle brush tree in our front yard. The following afternoon, as we arrived home with my daughter from school, I noticed that the parents were sitting on our electrical line just looking towards our paling fence. When we got inside, we noticed why they were looking at the paling fence because one of the chicks was resting and being fed by the other parent on our paling fence. It then flew away into the large leopard tree. So I set up my Nikon Z62 with the 200 to 500 mil f5.6 lens and recorded quite a bit of video of the parent feeding this one chick while it was sheltering in this leopard tree.
I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not